OK, in this example, we're looking at question one on page 37 of the manual. So this is just introductory accounting and we're just starting to do T accounts. And here's question one on page 37. Number of transactions. For each transaction, there are going to be two T accounts affected. So the first thing you should do is to establish what are the two T accounts that I need to put show money going in or out of and record the transactions and then which is debited and which is credited. So there's a rule which helps and all I'm going to do is uh, add columns to the right and so that I have a bit of space here. So you keep doing that and then okay here's one I made earlier down here. So the rule is debit the receiver and credit the giver. So you don't have this in the in page 37 but you can just do it to the right of the existing table. So on the first there, to start the business with 2,500 in the bank. So there's money coming into the business bank account. So bank is one account and the other account is going to be capital because anytime the owner invests money in the business, we have to record that the business owes capital back to the owner. So bank and capital are the two accounts and we're going to have to open up a T account for bank and capital. So uh, I'll do that in a second. But the first, before we do that, we need to establish which is debited. And the rule is debit the receiver. So in this case, the business bank account is receiving money. So we'll debit bank and the owner is giving capital. So capital is the giver. But if you get bank right, if you get one of the accounts right, the other has to be the opposite side. So definitely bank is easy to get here because the business bank account is receiving 2,500 into it. So we're going to debit the receiver. So then we come to our T accounts, open them up here and bank and capital, debit bank, debit is the left hand side, credit is the right. So uh, 2,500 into bank and 2,500 into capital here. And we need to give descriptions. So in the bank, this much money came in on the 1st of July. And where did it come from? In your bank, you'd need a description and it was capital lodged. And on the 1st of July, here, there, it came from capital and it was lodged to the bank. So generally, it's the description is the name of the other T account. So that's the first one done. Next, bought office furniture by check 750. The so two accounts first. Check is bank because if you write a check, the money is going to be leaving the bank. So bank is giving out money and the business is receiving office furniture. So there are the two accounts. Office furniture is the receiver on the bank account. Now you don't need to do this. It's not the important thing are the T accounts, but this kind of helps knowing which side goes where, which side to record the money. So in office furniture, we're receiving 750. So a new account, and we just show 750 on what date was that? 2nd of July. And the description is we paid for it from the bank. And in the bank then, on the 2nd of July, bank was the giver. We have 750 out and we need a description. And what do we spend the money on? Office furniture. OK, and we go down through it like that. Machinery from pliers, where the business is receiving machinery. So we'll, and then there is no cash or bank here, so we can't show money leaving cash or giving out of bank. Pliers is the other account, so machinery is one account, and pliers is the other. And pliers is giving the machinery, so he's the giver. But you will always have one on the left, which is debit, and one on the right, credit. Okay, 750 again, so we need to open up a machinery account here. And also pliers account. And debit 750 into machinery. Credit pliers, and you can there's always one on the left, one on the debit, one on the credit. And that was purchased from pliers. And in pliers account we owe him money. And why? Because we purchased machinery and credit. So it's just the name of the account.
bought a motor van playing by check okay norm bank is normally the easiest if there's check mentioned bank there's money going out of the bank so bank is the giver and then we bought a motor van so the business is receiving a motor van okay so it's debited and it's 600 euro on the 5th of july okay another account and we paid for it from the bank and it was 600 euro debit motor van and now we need to show a credit in another account which was bank because we paid by check bank was the giver this was the 5th of july and motor van sold some furniture so these are assets so none of these are goods that we're purchasing for resale we're just assuming here that the uh, these are assets that are purchased for the business so when you purchase an asset you or sell an asset it's that account that's affected so we don't record a purchase account or sales account when you buy or sell assets so sold some of the office furniture so office furniture is leaving it's it's we're giving it away so we're going to credit that because it's the giver and Jay Walsh is receiving it there's no money here there's no cash or bank mentioned so we can't debit them we're not receiving anything so Jay Walsh is uh, the receiver so office furniture 600 out on 8th of July so it was 600 and it was sold to Jay Walsh as a description and we come down and we have 600 in Jay Walsh's account now on the debit side and that was on the 8th of July now this account is an asset so by debiting we're increasing same motor vans an asset anytime we debit we increase office furniture another asset and debit increases a credit reduces so that's uh, if you were to look at this account now there's only 150 euro worth of office furniture left but that's for another day paid amount to pliers by check suppliers is receiving money he's the receiver and bank is giving so credit bank 750 and debit pliers so come to our bank account more money coming out and that was on the 15th of july and who do we pay pliers okay i won't bother correcting that 750 we come down to pliers and we paid him 750 or her on the 15th of july next jay walsh fair play has paid us the money so the business now is receiving cash and Jay Walsh is giving the cash. So they're the two accounts. And normally the two accounts are in the sentence, the name, and the only one that normally isn't is capital because it doesn't mention capital here. But you know if the owner lodges money to the business or gives money, it's always capital. So cash, Jay Walsh, credit 600. We had an account for Jay Walsh. Now we're going to credit it. And that was on the 23rd of July. And it was cash it was a description and i don't think we had a cash account yet did we no sorry so we need to open up a cash account and i'll delete that out of the way six hundred and description is J Walsh to show that where do you get the cash from J Walsh and there's only one account left more machinery I check so we're receiving machinery and bank is giving so 280 out of bank okay 280 into machinery as well on the debit side on 31st of July and description is bank and then we have to have 280 on the credit side on the right hand side of bank 31st of july and that is what was that that was machinery okay and that's the amounts in the t accounts the next thing to do is balance them off but we'll do that in another video so i hope that was useful 
and that's really it. You don't really need to do this, but the, the rule debit the receiver credit the giver is quite useful for knowing what which account gets debited, which accounts gets credited. So we'll be doing more of these in class and uh, practice is the way to go. So that's the accounts there, all of them. Okay, talk to you in class.